Get ready, in this very quick tutorial, I'll show you how to build out this really cool expanding CTA block inside of your Divi WordPress website. Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. I am so excited to share with you a really cool Divi feature. Now this is going to be a pro add-on that you'll be able to purchase, right? You'll have a license that you'll be able to purchase to get this really cool rollover pop-up feature to happen on your Divi website. Again, if you're running on WordPress and you've used the Divi theme, you have the opportunity to go over to this website and purchase Divi Pixel. This is so cool that you can go in here and you've got all these different options. So I'm going to show you right now how to build out this version, this really cool art gallery website that I found yesterday on um, our Divi Facebook group. If you're not familiar with that group, please be sure to check that out. I'll put the link in the description box below so you can come join us in that Divi conversation over there in that free Facebook group. But this was posted by a guy by the name of Umberto who built this site. And I, let me just show you the feature that I fell in love with. I mean, watch what happens at the certain point where I'm scrolling here. Look at this go full screen and really literally pop out at you. And it's not in an aggressive tone. It's really just done really nicely based on where your user is scrolling. So you see how that just kind of expands up almost as a magnifying type of user experience. And then if they decide to scroll on, that's exactly what they can do without it being uh, intrusive or frustrating, but it really does catch our eye and has a stop. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the specific feature that we're looking at inside of Divi Pixel is called Expanding CTA for Divi. And, and um, just so cool, y'all. You're gonna see really cool examples here of that same user experience as you scroll either up or down you're going to have that expanding moment that it goes just full screen beautiful really stops the user and it gets them excited to really focus on something but yet it's not intrusive so they can really just stay excited and engaged and impressed one of the best things about this once you buy a license um, you have the ability to download this example each demo here check this out y'all each demo has a little button that you can just download this JSON file, upload it into your Divi site, and you are running. It is so cool. So grab a license. Um, you know, they've got a couple of different price points to grabbing license based on how many websites you want to use this on. Of course, I, being a developer and having many clients, I really enjoy investing in the ultimate package so I can put it on unlimited websites. Of course, that's gonna be an annual price tag to keep the support and the updates coming, uh, but oh my goodness, with all these different options, it's so worth it. So once you've got that, you'll be able to download the plugin and you'll go into your dashboard and install the plugin. Installing plugins is just going into your dashboard again, plugins, add new up at the top, and this is where you're going to upload the plugin, right? You'll upload a zipped format file, which is exactly what they give you. You'll choose that file, install it. I've already done that step so that we can kind of move along a little bit more quickly here. So you can see Divi Pixel activated now inside of my dashboard. Once that lives there, there's so many cool things already happening. So now under my Divi tab here on the left side, we now have Divi Pixel. So you can go into there for the settings. And again, this might feel like option overload, but for this example, I don't even need to address any of this. This is all just extra fun stuff that you can spend time learning about and, and, and kind of customizing your site. But for today, we don't need to even look at this stuff. We are moving on. All right, so what we're gonna do, this is the example I'm gonna show you I'm gonna make. So I am working on this website and I want to make this example right here. See that big full image come into play? As I scroll down, there's no full image back here at all, nice and clean looking, and then it just really opens up. So this is the little example I'm gonna show you how to make, which is very comparable to our art gallery site that I was looking at. So I actually already have a full section here that I've built out on one of my layouts. 
this is what I want to use and I want to put it in that really cool full width experience. So I am just going to go into this and save this into my library. So I'm going to add this full section to my library. You can do this with anything though. You know, if you had a sign up section, anything that you've already built, you can grab and add and do this so easily and so quickly. So you're going to save this to your section, give it a name that you can recognize. I'll name this one, find your agent underscore layout. and save to your library. Once you've done that, you can go into your library now. I just want to show you how cool and easy this is. It's so incredible. You're going to go into your layouts, into your Divi library. Okay, so back into your dashboard, go into your Divi library. And now that that lives here as a section, check this out over on this right side, there's a short code that you can grab literally any of your Divi library layouts are going to have now your own Divi pixel short code right there. So I'm gonna copy that onto my clipboard. Now that I have that, you can go inject this layout anywhere you want, any post, any page, any theme builder layout. And that's what I wanna do. I wanna go into my blog post and add it in there. So I'm actually gonna jump into my theme builder area. And when you're in your Divi theme builder, you can go into any of your theme builder templates. I'm going into my all posts. Let's edit this. We're going to add a section wherever we want on this page. We're going to add a row and we're going to drop this in. And oh my goodness, watch how easy this is. Here we are into my all posts layout into the theme builder. I'm going to go all the way down. Remember, I want it to live below the end of my article. And so right now I'm just going to add a row and then I'm going to add a module and now that I have Divi Pixel installed you're gonna see all these darker modules here and we are looking for pixel expanding CTA drop that in now you've got a lot of options and you can have fun and get really creative but for now we're just going to paste in that short code that we grabbed onto our clipboard now that we've got that we're going to do a couple of extra settings to give it that really cool background image and some other cool layout options. So let's open this up. We're going to go in here and add a background image. If you remember, I had all those houses in there. I thought that looked really cool. So you want a nice large image to sit back there. You can add a background gradient over that image. If you need a little bit of, of, um, muting on it so that maybe it doesn't compete with whatever is on top of it. Remember when you go down, you want to be sure to place that gradient above the background image, right? And click your check mark. Now you might be saying, I can't see any of it. Well, get excited y'all because this looks so cool. Let's save. Oh my goodness. There's no other code, nothing else that you have to set. Now you can get creative and tinker around with it more if you wanted to, but I'm going to check and check and we're going to go back to the front side of the website going to click refresh on our blog post. We're going to scroll down all the way down to that one section right down here. Check that out. And there it is. Y'all look at that open and close open and close. It is that simple. Any layout you can set in there. There's our beautiful background picture with that gradient on it. And I'm just scrolling and enjoying and it moves away from me. I'm going to go back and it just expands out. Isn't that so cool? All right, y'all, I hope you enjoy putting that feature on your WordPress website. If you get a second, be sure to use my affiliate link down below. I would appreciate that. It doesn't cost you anything extra and I get to celebrate with you the use of this on your website. So super excited if you do use it. Will you consider putting the link to your website project in the thread below so that I'm able to go check out how you use this pop-up. I'm so excited to see all your different creative ideas. Also, be sure to click like and subscribe and hang out with me every single week. I have an entire playlist dedicated to Divi. I'd love to see you next time. Bye everyone.